go. Here begins my first 16mm film, captured on a Bolex H16 reflex camera from 1962. These cameras have been used since the 1930s by journalists and filmmakers, and they are bulletproof. I also got myself some Agmachrome 200D color reversal film. And color reversal film means that I don't have to worry about negatives. I send it to the lab, it comes back, and what, what comes back is what's in the camera now, and I can project it and view it then. So I captured that footage with this digitizer that I built out of Legos last night and a webcam. So this actually went through several design changes and basically it's a very simple operation. Have it like that. And then you have this webcam hooked up to your computer and you move it one frame, take a picture, and move it one frame, take a picture, move it one frame, take a picture. You can see the image. It's a very, qual very poor quality one, but I think it was a very good learning experience. So I've been using a lot of old toys. So we have robotics, we have constructs, we have Legos. Originally I was trying to use this camera because it's a very high quality one, well compared to the webcam. And I had to use two lenses so I made this system to help focus it and the camera would sit up in here. But that didn't work too well. So then I went for this one and I took apart the, the webcam that I found and focused it really close. Thankfully you can focus it to like half an inch from it. But unfortunately there's still some issues. But yeah, that's what I have so far. I'm thinking I might see about getting my second projector sometime and modifying that to be a film digitizer for, for the next experiment. I used the little wheels and stuff like that to help run the film through it. It actually worked really well. Enough for me to do 1,000 frames. I did like, I, I digitized 40 seconds of footage and that took about three and a half hours of just move, take a picture, move, take a picture. And I don't feel like doing that again. So next time, the next iteration of this experiment, I would like to set it up to where I can have more of an automatic system to where it automatically moves the exact amount and takes the picture. So since I do have a full spare projector that would probably be the best idea just to modify that. Unfortunately it would entail also having to take that one all the way apart to replace the worm gear so I don't know if I want to do that. I also built this little shroud to help keep light from bleeding in from the outside of the image. But then I realized that adding a piece of paper over it can help a lot too. So I'm probably going to not do much else with this for a little bit and just ponder and think about it. Maybe order some parts for re repairing the other projector. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm happy with this first experiment. It's a lot of food for thought. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!